included the silicone line where it matters the most. And we have included this vital anti-scratch utensil, especially where we think the utensil. Uh, so let's move on to what we call the glazing machine. And while I'll be doing the tomato sauce, you will see what I'm talking about. Uh, we have included, uh, eventually we have included three measuring marks here for one, two, and three tablespoons. Moving on, we have the slotted turner, uh, which is one of the most used tools in the world, both uh, in the East and in the West. Uh, the slotted turner includes as well uh, an amazing silicon edge here uh, for safe turning. So when you go for your pancakes, like, like tonight I will show you, uh, you have no problem with your, no your precious no stick cookware, co coating. Sorry. Uh, we have included a serrated edge here on the side. This serrated edge can cut uh, cheeses like butter, also medium cheeses and, uh, and vegetables alike. It's extremely, extremely useful. And here on the neck, I hope that you can see it, but later on I will show you with a close up. We have uh, a small grater for grating ginger, for grating garlic and shallots and whatever you need. Moving on. We have another great classic we, that we try to upgrade, which is the ladle. Uh, the ladle has uh, two very comfortable uh, serving spouts here on the side, so you won't make a mess every time as, as well for 30, 60, 90, and 120 milliliters, which is roughly um, half a cup. And, and then, of course, we have included the silicone edge here in front. And these little four holes here will be serving you as a herb stripper. And with them, you can strip sage, you can strip thyme, basil, uh, rosemary, you name it. Moving on, uh, the whisk, which is one of my favorites. Uh, we have designed this, uh, this whisk with uh, um, having in mind that too often things get stuck in the middle. So when you're mixing your batter, your cake mix, uh, things get stuck here in the middle. So we have included a hole here to help the flow. And then we have, as you can see, we have a very special spoke here on the side, uh, which is made of silicon that will help you, will be super, super efficient to clean the walls of your bowl while you're, uh, you're whisking. And eventually we have included an ergonomic handle because as I mentioned before, the contact between the human hand and the handle is extremely important. So you'll feel less fatigued when operating it. Then, the tool for cooking with finesse, the tongs. Uh, silicone here in the front, you're, you're, will be, you'll be moving something soft that need, uh, you, will not you will not risk of brewing it. And also we have an adaptive spring, which can go from fully closed, fully open, and it can be adaptable for anything in between. Also, when you have to store it, it's super small, so it's super convenient. And then we have the skimmer. Uh, when we thought about the skimmer, we thought that average skimmers are way too small. And so we constantly end up draining uh, foods in batches, which is, is, is annoying and inconvenient. So we made it very, very big. We added a, um, a smaller serrated edge here as well with the same purpose as the, as the slaughter turner. So you can cut um, some vegetables with it. Also, we have included in this one too, the herb stripper, which is super convenient. And then last, but not the least, by far my favorite, which is the pasta server. Uh, we have remodeled this one with uh, a few things in mind. We wanted to make a, a, a one tool for everything, for one dish, so you can make everything with just one tool. We have the silicone edge here in front for making the sauce, for example. On the back, we have a super handy, super, super handy uh, grater, which you can cut uh, garlic, shallots, uh, ginger as well, and it's super handy. And as you can see here in the center, we have a portioner. And with this portioner, which I'll be showing you right now how it works, uh, you have the, perf the perfect size for one serving. So I will start cooking uh, and make it very quick. I will start dropping the pasta and here we go. As I said, we have a super convenient measuring marks here for one person serving, and I want to show you how this works. It's super, super easy to operate. There you go. Also, as I said, I want to make 
some pasta al pomodoro. So in order to make pasta al pomodoro, which is a super easy and super standard Italian recipe, um, I want to make it a little garlicky and I'll be adding a little bit of olive oil and I want to show you guys how the grater works. Don't mind me using too much garlic, but I love it so much. So I'm not ashamed to, to make, to use two or three garlic cloves. Yeah, I think this will be enough. Otherwise my girlfriend will kill me and won't kiss me anymore. And then right after that, we wait for it to pan fry a little bit. And then we will add the tomato sauce. Let me move the pasta with this amazing pasta server. Actually, I am using the spoon for, for making the sauce because I wanted to show you uh, this amazing feature. Uh, if you remember when I said this was a glazing machine, if you think about it when you have, not in this case, but in most cases when uh, you're making uh, beef or some kind of meat, fishes or vegetables as well, uh, some food gets stuck on, on the cooking surface. But with this tool, which is extremely, extremely uh, soft and gentle on the cooking surface, you can see what I mean when I say this is a deglazing machine. As I said, these tools can withstand extremely high temperatures up, up to 390 degrees Fahrenheit, but I forgot to mention as well that they are completely dishwasher safe. So you can put them in a, in a dishwasher and, and have no worry about it. But honestly, they, thanks to the silicone and to, to the nylon finish, they are uh, super easy to clean. And as you can see, they don't get dirty. They struggle to, to stay dirty, which is, which is something uh, that we was a, a super plus. Let me move the pasta here. I don't want the pancake batter to stay too cold, so I will remove it from the refrigerator whisk. As you can see, the spoke I mentioned is super useful for scraping the remainings of your batter or your cake mixes from, from the edges of the bowl, from the, the walls. As you can see, I made this batter half an hour ago and you can see how smooth, smooth it is. I will place it here for just one second. Add a, little, a pinch of salt and lower the heat a little bit. Otherwise I'll be making a mess. And since I want to add a little bit of basil, uh, I want to show you how the herb stripper works in the ladle. Super easy. And there you go. Yeah, the smell is amazing. Cooking the steak. But before I start cooking the steak, I want to show you the skimmer, how it works. I have made as a side dish, broccolis and, uh, and small potatoes. And I want to show you how easy it is to, to operate this, this amazing skimmer. We leave it right now on the side, but we'll be needing them when we plate. And use the bigger fire for the steak. I want the frying pan to be 
smoking hot. I think the sauce right now is ready. Yes, it is definitely. So I'll shut the fire or the heat in this case and wait for the pasta to be cooked. And also while I wait for this fry pan to get super, super hot, I think I can start thinking about draining the pasta, the spaghetti, which yeah. As you can see, when, when I go fishing for, for my pasta, I go scooping with the silicone edge first. The silicone edge first allows me to be a little bit more aggressive than usual because I am confident that in the end, the non-stick coating will not be damaged. So I can go fishing with a little bit of a, with an attitude, as some may say. The smell is amazing, amazing. So I will plate it right now, a touch of Parmesan cheese. There you go. Uh, maybe we can add a couple basil leaves just for decoration. One, whoopsie, one and two. And a splash of oil. And there you have it. Now let's move on with the steak. The fry pan is flaming hot right now. Yes, it's smoking. So we can drop the steak. This is a strip loin from Ireland. Sorry for the mess, but this is what happens when you have a flaming hot fry pan on, on your stove. But this is actually what you need when you're cooking meat. And while we wait for the, the steak to sear on one side, I plan on showing you how to cut the butter with the slaughter turner. It is super easy. I will be needing, look how smooth it is. <laughs> I will be needing the butter for basting the steak in the end. So, let me see how it's coming before, uh, before cooking it. And I left it at room temperature for with a, with a pinch of salt and pepper on top, uh, just to let the liquid uh, go out so we can make a very, very efficient sear on both sides. And then I will be needing also another frying pan. for my unusual dessert of tonight. And I will be using the smaller one. Let me check the steak. Wow, look at that. Look at that. <coughs> Pardon me. And eventually I'll be using as well the spoon for basting it. And I'll show you how, how easy and gentle the silicone edge is on, on your frying pan. Oh, it's coming marvelous. I like it, uh, not blue, but I don't like it very, very much cooked. So I'll be adding the butter for basting. Some rosemary and a garlic clove. Mm. 
The smell is amazing. I'm not sure I'll be able to eat everything all by myself. But I'm starting to get very, very, very hungry right now. Let me lower the heat a little bit. I don't want the butter to burn. All right. I have here my dish for plating. And I can definitely start plating the veggies. These are steamed potatoes. And as you can see, blue broccoli. These are, are boiled, I'm sorry, I'm not steamed, so they're super fragile, but as you can see, you can operate this, the, the thongs with the silicon edge with a lot of ease. I'll be adding a touch of olive oil and some salt. The smell is unbelievable. This is ready, I think. Just a couple more seconds and I can start pouring the pancake batter. I'm not very much a, a maple syrup guy, so I'll be using honey. As you can see here, we have measuring marks. I know that my, my preferred pancake is around 60 to 90 milliliters, so I can use these measuring marks to be always in control of the size of my pancake. There we go. I'll be making just one because dinner looks with enough stuff. I mean, there's enough of my on my plate. The steak is ready. I'll be plating it, but I will let it rest on my plate. Perfect. And also just put a little touch of decoration. A little spring of rosemary. And eventually we only need to wait for the pancake to cook. We will add fresh berries and a touch of honey. Yeah, it's cooking. It will take, uh, I'd say, uh, one minute, one minute and a half per side. So we have a little bit of time. If Guido and Arminia, you guys have uh, some questions for me coming from our viewers, or we can move on and finish the cooking. They're asking if they can use also on grilling, on barbecue, which is the temperature, maximum temperature for the kitchen utensils. Okay, it can withstand temperatures up to 390 degrees Fahrenheit, which is uh, around 200 degrees Celsius. And uh, being made of nylon, they are perfect for a kitchen, for an everyday kitchen. And for the barbecue, it, it, can, it can get a little risky. So I, I recommend you uh, to use uh, steel utensils for, for, for your barbecue especially when you're, you're operating uh, very high flames. Uh, this is super resistant. They can go in the dishwasher. They can withstand very high temperatures. They can stay with uh, no problem like this for, for a good amount of time and nothing will happen. But on a grill, on a barbecue, it can, it can get a little bit risky. The pancake is, is a little bit undone. I, I think we will need a couple more minutes. Mm -hmm. I think you have stimulated not only the culinary appetite, but also the appetite for this new product. <laughs> Guys, you have no idea how fun it is to cook with these tools and the imagination. Knowing you, you can do multiple things, multiple things at the same time with the same tool. Um, makes you want to experience, makes you want to try new things. 
And this is the feeling that we had when we, when we decided to, uh, to make a utensil line. We wanted to give something extremely efficient and versatile, but also something fun to use, which is, uh, according to me, uh, one of the priorities of the Oscar products. Knives, uh, cookware, utensils, and a lot more is coming in the next few years. So uh, we have this thing really, really, man, we want to have fun. We want to enjoy cooking with these tools, with everything we, we use every day, because it helps. And when you eat your food and you cook it with passion, it's, uh, it does make a difference. It does make a difference. We totally agree. So, uh, yeah, the pancake is a little bit anemic. <laughs> Sorry for that. I need a little more heat. But if you think about it, I make a, uh, I made a, a pasta dish. I made uh, an amazing steak in just like 15 minutes. So I, I apologize for, for this pancake not being perfect. I am so sorry for that. To me, it seems perfect. So <laughs> don't worry about that. Don't worry. You're like a pro. Um, I only want to add that don't, don't forget to subscribe to the link you can find here in the video description. Uh, so you will uh, receive an email as soon as we go live on Indiegogo, the July 14th. Um, and uh, especially uh, so you can uh, have the super early bird uh, price. Very important. Keep in mind. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you want to save some money and get these amazing tools, which are, will not be expensive at all, at all, on the contrary. But subscribe to the link you find in the description and enjoy cooking with a lot of fun. Yes. So this is it. Thank you guys for, for tuning in and for, for staying with us and enjoying this amazing experience. Personally, uh, I will stop talking right now but I really wish I can see you on, on Indiegogo starting July the 14th. So thank you very much for being with us and with me personally tonight. Thank you, Nicola. Thank, thank you, everyone. You. And I hope to see you soon on uh, Indiegogo. Indiegogo. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you.